Hello there. Tonight's shave, I'm going to be using my 1966 L1 date code. That's first quarter of 1966. Flare tip super speed. Some people call this a 60s super speed. It has, if you look, there are no horizontal lines on the TTO, and the head is a more lower profile, very similar to, if not exactly the same as, the uh, black handled Super Speed. So I expect that this razor will shave pretty close to that razor. It's heavier because the handle is brass instead of, I think, the uh, black handled is aluminum handle. But but same basic head and all, and I'll be using the Persona Med Prep. This razor's got, or this blade rather, has one shave on it. So I expect it will be nice and sharp and all that. I'll be using my Samoog 1438 and sterling spice so let's get this show on the road I love the sterling spice it's one of my favorite in the sterling lineup uh, haven't used it very often because all I have is a sample of it and uh, I'll be sad to see it gone Sterling is not very expensive, and if and when I get the opportunity, uh, I will purchase more, definitely. But I just got this. I just found this Super Speed at a local store today. I love Super Speeds. There's so much variation in the Super Speed lineup. And eventually what I would like to do is collect them all where I can find them. Uh, they are, in my opinion, they're like the perfect razor for me. I mean, I started on one that, that might have something to do with it. But I started shaving in the 70s with a black handled super speed. And I've got a lot of razors and I love my razors, especially the adjustables like the slim and the black beauty that I have. I'd never want to part with those razors. And of course I love my straights and all of that. Some of my SEs are just wonderful, wonderful razors and all that. But the super speed is something special at least to me it's a mild fairly mild there's differences in the mildness or aggressiveness but they are all even the red tip is fairly mild considering a lot of the modern razors today uh, and uh, they're a razor that you can use every single day and if you have good technique you'll get really good shaves with them and uh, when you find the one that's right for you because there's so many different variations and also uh, you won't tear your face up you won't be sitting in the middle or toward the end of the week going well you know, I had a really rough shave yesterday and or the day before and I really need to let my face heal and Stuff like that, you know, you'll get good shaves every single day, nice and comfortable. I don't find anything not to like about them. They're just wonderful. 
wonderful races, yeah. Very much like my black tip or black handle, but actually this razor might, and that's just might. I've only got like one, I've only done one cheek, <laughs> so it just might. Be slightly slightly more aggressive than my black handle but if it is it's just really really slight Same blade and both razors may not be a dime's worth of difference between the two. And I'd pretty much be willing to think that would be it because, like I said, these heads, they're very much alike. Lovely. Hold on for a minute. I'll show you what I mean by that. I haven't disappeared. I'm just over here in my cabinet. Black t black handle super speed. See those heads? They're really, really close to each other. This one might be just slightly a lower profile but I really don't think so I think they're pretty much identical and this is my baby uh, but yeah they're really 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 a lot of light uh, the only difference I can see other than the cosmetic uh, is the weight the uh, 66 that I'm using this evening is a bit heavier than that black handle but yeah it does feel that last pass did feel slightly more aggressive than my black handle, but to be honest with you, the like I said, it, it's really, really slight. Uh, it would be so slight, I would think, that that it would not. It would not make that much difference, if any, in, in a shave. But I like the extra weight. Of this razor. And I can tell you, uh, I love that med prep. Blade. To me, med prep in the lab feel and work identically to me. But the med prep is what I have. In this razor. I feel like there's maybe a little bit more blade exposure on this head. Uh, when I 
pass the razor over my skin. It just feels like that passed that way. Felt like I was getting a bit of what people call blade flex, where you can feel the blade flex a little bit. Oh, I love Sterling. <laughs> where you can feel, kind of feel the blade flex a bit. I know a lot of people say blade flex is a myth and all that. Well, I don't know. I know that uh, that's what it felt like just happened. That's why if you notice, I kind of stopped and checked to make sure the knob, the TTO knob was still tight because it felt like maybe the head had loosened up and allowed the blade to flex, but no, everything was fine. So it will mean, be my guess that there's just a bit more exposure. In this blade, and that's what's accounting for that feeling of it being a little more aggressive. And the feel of that, it felt like the blade was flexing just a bit. Whether it actually was or not, I don't really care. We can get a lot of times, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's one of the fun things about this thing we do. This thing of ours, as Don Corleone would say, uh, one of the wonderful things about uh, this thing we do is the, the subtle variations and the uh, the dwelling on those variations and uh, exploring of those variations and all of that but I saw on a forum a long time ago where it was basically almost a knock down and drag out fight the guys were saying well there's no such thing as blade flick flex and other guys were saying come on I feel it all the time you know and uh, I'm not interested in arguing uh, I know what I feel and what I think it is and my feel on my face that is absolutely smooth as all as silk but what i feel on my face trumps what anybody else thinks about this razor or anything else that's just how i feel about it you know and if you know i've said over and over again that i'm not a uh i'm not an expert of any kind i'm not any kind of authority on wet shaving or anything like that so feel free to disagree with anything I say or anything I think you won't upset me at all or I won't get mad and throw a huff and, and as long as you're respectful to, of me and I'm respectful of you uh, we're grown men we can disagree without a bit of problem I don't have a problem if you think there's no such thing as blade flex, and I think that there is, I don't have a problem. If you hate this soap or cream or or whatever or this razor, and I love it, it don't make a dime's worth of difference to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> That's why we're all here. By the way, I don't know if I said, but there's really nothing else you can follow. Uh, well, you can follow it with anything, but there's really, that's really appropriate for the uh, Sterling Spice. So anyway, that's the shave. God bless you. Just wanted to shave and try my new razor. That's the first uh, shave with it. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, thank you.
God bless you. And keep enjoying your shaves. And if you're not enjoying them, enjoying them, figure out why and stop doing it. Find some other way. Find a way to enjoy yourself. That's what we're here for. God bless. Later. Huh.